Hello and welcome back to Divine Spirit. That is, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so very much. And if you are a new subscriber, without you, I can't do this. I really do appreciate you. Thank you for choosing me. This is Divine Spirit, and we're here to keep you entertained. We're here to keep you amazed. We're here to keep you inspired. And we're here to spoil you all. Thank you. Let's get into the video. Today we are going to be talking about the secret part one. Before we start, let's first of all explain what a secret is. I know you all know what a secret is, but a secret is something that is being concealed. A secret is something that is being kept secret, if I should say, if I should put it that way. Secrets are things that are covered, maybe for a particular period of time or maybe forever, as the case may be. Now, I may claim to love you, I may claim to be your friend, I may be your mother, I may even be your father, I may be your brother or sister, or your best friend. I mean best of best. But I conceal a secret from you. I'll actually keep a secret from you, maybe for a very long time, or even forever, as I said earlier, as the case may be. Secrets definitely are meant to be kept. That I keep a secret from you as my friend doesn't mean that I don't love you, or does not mean that I don't have a genuine love for you. I love you, but this is to show you that I'm a human and my love is definitely limited. We keep secrets from each other, not because we don't love ourselves as I said, but because this is to show you that we are humans, our love are conditioned, unlike God, whose love is unconditional. Synonym of secrets can also be private affair. Now for me to put you into my private affair or for me to tell you things about my private life, meaning I really do love you and I'm, I'm very attached to you. Sometimes I tell you about my private life, but I won't tell you everything. I'll tell you partially or I'll tell you half of it. Does it mean that I don't love you again? Of course not. I love you, but this is also to tell you that I'm a human and my love is conditioned. But there's one person that does not actually keep secrets from us. There's one person that even if he keeps secrets from us, he, he is left for us to, to um, search and to find it out, which is God. Now, the Bible said in Proverbs 25 verse 2, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter. Remember, to conceal. God actually keeps secrets from us. But definitely, as the Bible said, but the glory of kings to search out a matter. It's the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings to search out a matter. What does this mean? That God keeps secrets from us as his children, but it's left for us to search out this matter. But how do we search out this matter? Only by prayers, communication, and having a private time with him. When you have a private time with God, and when you pray consistently, God shows you a lot of things, things to come, things that happen, and even things that are present. The Bible also said in John chapter 15 verse 15, I do not call you servants any longer, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you my friends because I have revealed to you everything that I've heard from my father. Now Jesus said, I do not call you servants, but I call you friends. This is the same thing that we have right now in our days. We have a lot of friends, but do they actually tell us everything? Even if they tell us everything, most of these things will not be true. They can mix a lie in it, or they might tell us part of it. But Jesus said, everything that my father has told me, he didn't say part of it, everything without a lie. I've told you all this because I call you my friends. Again, the Bible said in Amos chapter 3 verse 7, Surely the Lord does not do anything without revealing his secret plan, his secret plan, people, of the judgment to come to his servants and the prophets. God has secrets. God is a man of secrets. But he reveals these things to his servant. He reveals these things to his prophets. How many of us will call ourselves friends? Or how many of us who, even if we love each other, there are some secrets that we will definitely keep from ourselves. See, no matter how the love is tight, no matter how we claim to love ourselves, there are a lot of things we keep from ourselves. Then, even if I tend to find out as a friend, Maybe when I found out this truth, you might even deny it. Or maybe when I found out this truth, I may find out part of it and not all. And when I found out this, this truth, it's because I actually searched and searched and searched 
sometimes I may not even find this truth but God has promised us that he keeps a secret definitely but the main thing is when we search we're gonna get out the secrets now the Bible says woe unto him who puts his trust in man when you call this person your friend and you call that person your friend friends are good but this is to tell you we are humans when you call people your friends there are lots of secrets that they've not told you this means that our trust needs to be only in God and Him alone. Also, in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10, the Bible said, For God has unveiled them and revealed them to us through the Holy Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things diligently, even sounding and measuring the profound depth of God, the divine counsels, and things far beyond human understanding. This is in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10. God reveals things through the Holy Spirit. Now, if you really want to search out things from God, if you really want to see things that God has concealed, you must have the Holy Spirit. And how do we have how do we get the Holy Spirit? By asking for it. It's not actually a big deal. You kneel and you ask God, God, I need your spirit. The Holy Spirit is not hard to get. The Holy Spirit is gotten by constant communication and asking God for it. You get out things from God, you get out concealed matters. God is a man of secrets. There is nothing that he does actually without keeping it from people. Now he reveals this thing to his prophet. He reveals this thing to, to people that are very close to him. Things to come and things that are past. So if you want to be part of the people that God actually reveals things to, you must have the Holy Spirit. It's time we ask for the Spirit of God. It's time we ask for a relationship with God so that His secret will be unveiled to us. Or don't you want to know the secrets of God about your life, your future, and everything around you? Definitely, I know you want to know. Trust me, it's the best thing that can ever happen to you. Guys, what are we even waiting for? Come back to Him, ask Him for mercy, and ask Him for a relationship. The Bible said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Do you think that seeking is you seeking out the secrets of God? Definitely you shall find it. God is not a man. God is not like our friends of today. God is not even like our loved ones. That when they claim that they love us, they keep lots and lots of secrets from us. And we will get to find out. It might be a problem or we, can, we might not even get to find out. Even forever. God is not like that. He needs you. The Bible said, I stand at the door of your heart and I knock. And if you open up, I will die with you. What a privilege that God even is standing at the door of our heart and even knocking and even begging us that he wants us back. He wants us back. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and click on that notification bell to get more of my videos. I'll be coming with another video which will be the secret part 2. Until then, thank you so much. I remember blessed. Bye.